video, uh, what we're going to do is implement a kind of uh, notification mechanism using flow and the dynamic flow component. Uh, what we want to do is, uh, whenever the rating is set to hot, if you, the user navigates to a record with that's got a rating of hot, is actually come up with a pop-up prompt or called toast in, in lightning terms. You know, it's the usual red banner that pops up in the middle of the screen. Um, and that's only for records that are have that rating. If we navigate to another one, we don't want to see that. Um, in addition to a pop-up, we want to see the status of the utility bar change as well as a visual clue. So the way that we can achieve that is uh, the Lightning, the dynamic flow component supports uh, auto-run flows. So auto run flows are kind of headless flows. They have no UI to them. It's pure logic. Uh, so the uh, account flow auto is the one that um, um, I'm going to demonstrate now in this video. And it's, this one is called account flow auto. So I'm going to keep that in my clipboard for later. And we need to configure that. So I'll just show you what um, what that uh, flow looks like. And you can see it's using the record that's passed in, but doing some kind of conditional logic on it. In this case, looking at what's in the rate value and the rating value. And if it's hot, then it'll do something. If it's not, it'll do something else. So um, the the logic is is pretty much um, what you'd expect if you're familiar with flow. You just define your criteria and uh, the field that you're referring to. So in the assignment, this time there's two assignments. There's only this, this, these, the bottom assignment always fires, but this one only fires if it's hot. So we're using the event flow TB event value again with the show toast um, event. And uh, if you use flow TB underscore param and then the, the thing following the param title message and type here are the actual parameters of that particular event that you're using. So in the documentation that I've created, um, there's a link to the standard Salesforce docs that show you all of the event events available and the event parameters. So I'm just bringing up some message here that says a rating warning. Please note that this, this is a hot account. Um, and I'm also highlighting the utility bar. So there's another variable that you can pass out of your flow that will tell the dynamic flow component to highlight the utility bar as in another additional way. Now this is um, essentially a auto run flow. So we still want to see the uh, UI to edit the rating and, and the description and such like. So the way that you achieve that is you have another uh, assignment which runs another flow. And in this case runs the UI flow that we were looking at earlier in the, in the other video. So. There's another variable called flow tb underscore run flow. And if you assign that the name of your flow, then it'll run um, that flow. So you can essentially sort of chain flows if you wanted to. I wouldn't probably advise going too far with this, but um, certainly this use case works rather well because you can use a headless flow to um, assess what uh, the record is as the user navigates to it and then pr provide a particular UI. So you could have multiple flows depending on the conditions of this logic actually uh, that you want to display. So it gives you a bit more flexibility over the metadata approach. So we do, do, we do want to edit the metadata though to start to have it run the auto, uh, auto launch flow instead of the, the UI flow initially. So we'll save that. And then we'll uh, we'll go and explore a little more with this. So at the moment, um, if we were just to refresh this page, we won't see anything radically different because the rating for this account was uh, is already set to warm. But if I was to go and edit um, that field, we'll see the auto launch flow um, will start to uh, to do its uh, do its thing. So I can edit it through the existing UI that I created. So when I click next, remember it will refresh the page, which will cause it to go through the cycle of running and refreshing the flow. And we can see now that the pop-up appears and we also get the highlighted indicator down here. Now the interesting thing happens is that this 
obviously the requirement was that it only happens on accounts that have got hot as their rating and, and not on others. So if we flip to Dickinson PLC, we can see that the wet rating appears because it's hot as well. Now if we actually change this one to um, to warm, you'll see that the utility bar goes back to the regular colour. But when I go back to Burlington Textiles, which is still hot, you can see that it immediately pops up. So it's dynamically discovering what's going on on the field, what values are set on the fields, and, and adjusting how it um, how it display, what messages are displayed, and that's all done using Flow Logic. You've not written any Apex or any JavaScript logic here, and uh, because it's using that run flow variable, it still runs the regular UI flow. Now you don't have to do that. You could just have a, me a message that would just say it's run the flow here in the, sc uh, the screen. You don't have to run another flow after that. I've just d chained the two just because they, they seem related. You want to probably edit the rating if you see it uh, going too high. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to create like a notification system with, um, with auto launch flows and the dynamic flow component.